to infinity and somewhere. What's going on, Power Director peeps? You know what time it is. It's Saturday, and today I'm going to show you how to make the infinite zoom effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you always wanted to get your infinite zoom on, I want you to put hashtag infinite zoom in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director. The infinite zoom effect makes it seem that you're zooming in on an object or moving through an object over and over and over. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the infinite zoom effect for your videos. Let's get to zooming. As you can see, I have an image of a television in the timeline. If I go ahead and press the space bar on my keyboard and play this back, nothing happens. It's a static image. But what I want to do is make this image appear on the TV and zoom into the image over and over again. So the few things that we got to do to make that happen. First thing that you want to do is add some tracks to your timeline. You're going to need at least four timeline tracks to do what you saw me do in a demo. So I'm going to go down here to track two. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to select add tracks. And then I'm going to select two because I want to add two tracks below track two to audio. Really don't need the two audio, but I'm going to put it on there. I just like symmetry. I like things to look the same. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And it will add those tracks that I need. So now I have track one, two, three, and four. Next, we need to make it possible for the image to be seen through the other image. So to do that, we're going to add green to the TV screen so that we can chroma key that out later and make the images appear in it. So what we're going to do is go to the media content drop down, And we're going to select color boards. We're going to go over here to the green color board. We're going to left click on this with our mouse, hold down our left mouse button and drag this down to track two. Now we got a big green blob on the screen. We need to make sure that this green screen is only over the TV screen where it's black so that it looks realistic. So what you could do is you could double click on the green color board or you can left click it once and press F2 on your keyboard and that will open up the PIP designer. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna use the scale and the X and Y positions to go ahead and place the TV screen where you want it, or you can just place your cursor over the nodes and move it how you want it. I've already done all of this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the parameters that I wanna use. And now that the green color board is directly over the TV screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And I'm going to change this color boards back to the media content here. The next thing that we need to do is create a snapshot of what we have in the timeline. So if I left click on the timeline, I want to create an image that has the green color board right there so I can use that image over and over and over again to make the infinite zoom. So I'm going to go over here to the create a snapshot button. I'm going to left click on that. It's going to ask me where I want to save it and what I want to name it. You can change the name, change the location if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And we're good to go. I no longer need these things that are in the timeline. So I'm just going to highlight both of them. I'm going to click on the trash bin and then remove those. So the next thing that I need to do now is bring in the snapshot that I created to the timeline. So I'm going to go up here to the snapshot. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it all the way down into track four. So now I want to create the pan and zoom so that it zooms towards the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on it to make sure that it's activated. I'm going to go up here to tools and I'm going to go to pan and zoom. So I'm going to click on the pan and zoom option. And then I'm going to click on motion designer so that I can create a custom zoom that I want. So right now we're at the first keyframe. You can see that there's a playhead over here on this red keyframe. And for the first keyframe, we want this to be full screen. 
want everything to be included. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the parameters to make this full screen. And so right now it's showing that it's going to go from this little blue dot and move over this way. But what we want to do is put the blue dot right in the middle of the green screen so that everything zooms right into that green screen and whatever we have showing up on the next timeline track will come to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this select next keyframe button. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the parameters here so that that blue dot is now right in the middle of the screen. And that's pretty good there. So once I have it where I want it, I can go ahead and click on OK. And now if we play this back, I'm going to press the space bar. You see that it zooms right into the middle of the TV screen. So we're good to go there. So what I want to do now is add the chroma key to the green screen. So we can double click on this clip or we can left click it once and press the F2 key on our keyboard. It opens up the PIP designer. You can scroll down to chroma key. We're going to go ahead and enable that. Then we want to click on the eyedropper. Then we'll click on the green. And now that is see-through. So we can go ahead and click on OK. And then we want to just create the same image on the other tracks above it so that they all show through the green screen. So I'm going to right click on this clip. I'm going to select copy. Now I'm going to go to track three. I'm going to do right click, do paste and overwrite. Click on track two, right click, paste and overwrite. And then track one, same thing. You know what I'm going to do. So now we're good to go there. So now all we really need to do is change the duration of the clips on top. Because if we play this back now, you're just going to see it zoom in and you're not going to see anything different. It's nothing going on. So if we change the duration of these clips, it'll change the speed of the zoom and we'll be able to see each clip being zoomed in through the TV screen. So for track three, I'll move this up to seven seconds. Uh, track two, I'm gonna move this one. Let's go to 10. And then track one, I'm going to move this one. Let's go to 13. All right, so if I play this back now, you get your zoom, a zoom, zoom, and a boom, boom. Now, if you want something to show up on that TV screen, then all you really need to do is bring whatever image you want down into the timeline. Let's bring this one down. It doesn't matter as long as there's space on that track for you to bring it down to. Yeah, we might want to add a fade to the beginning. So I'm going to go to transition room. I'm going to go to general. And I'll drag a fade down here. And now we'll go ahead and press the space key on our keyboard. Let's play this back. Infinity. That's how you make the infinite zoom effect in Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you decide that you like PowerDirector and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase a 365 annual subscription, I'm going to leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.